guys we have this question right here it's asking the truss is supported by a pin at a and a roller at b determine the determine the support reactions so let's see how we can see, solve this problem so for a pin you know pin pin is going to have two reactions this is going to a y and a x but for a roller there's only one direction it's going to be this one one reaction that's going to be this the reaction is going to be by then uh, there they are asking to find determine the support reaction so we have to find ax ay and by so that's the question so let's see how we can do uh, first of all we have two unknown here and here we have one now one now now so it's better to take moment around a because when when i take moment around a the, this both are both will be cancelled so uh, so uh, we don't have to worry about it anymore we can solve for b by 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 taking moment around a so if i take moment around a uh, and if i sigma moment around a is zero in statics and if i take counterclockwise positive and solve for this one we have five kilonewton and this is perpendicular to this so i can directly take this one and multiply so it's going to be five times four right here and it's uh, negative right because it's acting clockwise so it's going to be negative then we have 10 kilonewton it's also negative 10 kilonewton and it's uh, it's in the distance of this is this is 6 6 cos 45 so multiply by 6 cos 45 plus 2 so plus 2 right here then we have b by acting counterclockwise so it's going to be positive b by and it's going to be multiplied by 6 cos 45 and here we have 6 meter distance so it's going to be 6 cos 45 plus 6 now I can solve uh, this is this is equal to 0 so now I can solve for by if I solve I will get I will get a positive number and it's gonna be 8.05 kilonewton so this is my by now I can find a by using uh, the vertical components so for example if I use sigma fy is equal to zero in statics if I take upper direction positive and take all the values this is going to be five kilonewton but this is not straight down so we have to find the real value so for example this is 45 so if I draw a C uh, shape is, this is going to be 45 too and we know the total distance total angle is 45 so we can say this is also 45 so you can write both way like you can take 5 cos 45, 5 so sin 45, both are going to be same. So, so this is going to be and this is going to be negative because it's acting downward. So minus 5 cos 45. Then we have 10 kilonewton acting downward. Also a y acting upward, so it's going to be plus a y then we have 10 kilonewton acting downward it's going to be minus 10 kilonewton then we have by acting upward so it's going to be plus 8.5 8.05 then if i solve for this one i will get a y is equal to a y is equal to 5.49 kilonewton so this is my answer for a y now, now i can solve for x so a x if i solve for a x sigma f x is zero in statics and if i take this direction positive and solve for this one this will become a x is going to be positive then we have five kilonewton then in this case same thing we can take cos 45 sin 45 both are going to be same give the same thing right so you can take and this is positive direction so it's going to be plus 5 cos 45 is equal to 0 
so if you calculate ax you will get you will get a 3.535 kilonewton and the direction uh, the answer is going to be negative therefore this is going to be acting opposite direction so ax is going to be in this direction so this is the direction of ax we can state it here too we can say 3.535 kilonewton in this direction so i hope you guys like this video see you next time